This week I learned how to calming and refreshing loose artists. Otherwise, I wouldn't survive this butterfly madness. Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. I'm Lina, a self-taught artist based in Austria and on my journey to start my own art business. Originally, I wanted to show you the work and process of art pieces, prints and stickers that I wanted to finish for my first shop update. But instead, I had the urge to paint other things. So, which ideas were so important that I changed the whole video making process three days before release and what did I learn from that? At the beginning of this week, I asked my followers on Instagram to vote on animals I wanted to practice on. I was very happy and thankful about the votings and interaction with my followers and started sketching the first animal, the Tyrolean Grey Cuddle. The week started off very well and I liked the sketchbook spread. Sadly, I wasn't happy with the coloring using colored pencils and wanted to work on this with watercolor on the next day. It also bugged me a lot that I practiced drawing cows, which is totally okay to do. Instead of going on with the planned art pieces, which are needed for the first shop update, I reviewed the sketches of those art pieces and didn't feel like doing it. Don't get me wrong, I like the ideas and will create sellable products, but I wanted to paint something different. Last week, I finished a painting for Mother's Day and it's on its way to my mother in Germany. I really loved the loose style of the leaves around the elephants and felt a strong urge to do something like this again. Those new ideas sparked very positive feelings, so I grabbed my watercolors and brushes, turned on my favorite music and painted. The creating flow kicked in and I almost forgot about my cameras to record everything. So, was it a dumb idea to table flip my original plans for this week and for this video? No, it was not. It made me realize something. Maybe those paintings are not very special or extraordinary or creative, but for me, they show feelings. And feelings are at some point required to create pieces that you and anybody else will like. Art pieces show feelings, memories and wishes. You can't force yourself to create art. There are a ton of people who do that though, and it can't be very pretty. But I think if nobody feels something when they look at a piece, and it can be any feeling, maybe the art piece and the process of making it need a rework. 
I will finish the plant pieces for the shop update, for sure. But I traded one week of shop progress for one week of pure happiness for myself. It is okay to create art for myself. If I don't like it, who actually will? Even though I created something different, I still finished the two rolling grey cattles in my sketchbook. Changing to watercolor helped a bit and I will make sure to create a product with the two rolling grey cattles for the shop. Also, my scanner arrived and I practiced creating making art prints at home. It took many tries. Too many, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm happy with the results. I will tell you more about the process next time. Thank you for sticking around and I hope you will enjoy my next video. Bye bye.